Welcome back everyone to another Weather at Glance video. In today's forecast, we are going over our second preliminary fall forecast for the fall season of 2023. All coming up in just a bit. All right, and on our first slide, we're taking a look at our precipitation anomaly forecast map and a bit has changed since our last update about two weeks ago. Uh, with our first preliminary fall forecast. You can see, starting off here, we're going to go into the slightly below average region. We see much of the southern United States, the deep south, and over into the western United States is actually in the slightly below average precipitation. And you can see here, this is caused by the setup we are seeing. We actually are um, looking at the current 30-day analysis, and we see a lot of below average activity, and this is increasing um, as a trend that looks to head into the fall season. And we also see with the kind of dynamics that we're seeing with the jet stream setup, um, kind of digging more into troughing in the east and ridging in the west, we do see a lot of uh, slightly decreased precipitation that looks to stay persistent into the fall. Now, moving on to our next region, we're looking at a below average region here. And you can see this is anywhere from Phoenix all the way over up into Idaho southern washington and all the way down through california so this is a region where you will notice some decreased precipitation now we know that california and areas in the west are usually dry a lot of the time of the year but we are heading into that time of year where we are expecting that monsoon season precipitation and that looks to be kind of a decrease this season now the thing is we've been getting plenty of precipitation out west for the past couple of months so it's not going to be a big loss if this does happen but as of right now we are expecting some slightly decreased precipitation among much of the west and the south and below average precipitation for this region right here. So really not a lot of rain this fall, but we are still expecting that decrease throughout the fall that will likely put a damper on the monsoon season. Now onto our next two regions over here. We're going to look over here first in the Great Plains, and this is a pretty persistent region that's been going on ever since the spring, and we do expect this to continue into the fall. We see slightly above average precipitation for anywhere from southeastern Wyoming all the way down into northern Texas and all of Oklahoma over into western Arkansas. And we do see that really nothing big time precipitation is going to be continuing on here, but we do see some slight increases in precipitation that have been persistent throughout the last couple months, and they do look to continue into the fall season. Now, moving over here from eastern Michigan all the way up through the northern mid-Atlantic and the northeast, we do see slightly above average precipitation, and this looks to stay persistent. We've already seen some slightly increasing precipitation over the last month and 30 days, and we do expect that to kind of continue and grow into the fall season, though as of right now, we aren't expecting above average precipitation quite yet. Now moving on to our next map, we're looking at our temperature anomaly forecast map, and starting off, we're going to go with the slightly below average region here, um, and this is quite different from our temperature anomaly forecast map from the first preliminary fall forecast for this season. Now, as you can see, much of the north is actually in the slightly below average area. And keep in mind, we are going into El Nino, and we do oftentimes see warmer conditions for these areas, but the El Nino that we're in right now is still weak. It's still developing. And while we do expect to go on a stronger trend into a strong El Nino by winter, right now we are still on a weaker El Nino, and things look to be slightly cooler in this region as of now. Now, moving on to our next series of regions, we have the slightly above average region for both much of the south the deep south over into the west. And then we do have this little region up here for the northern New England and northeast. So you can see here, we do have plenty of areas in the slightly above average region. This doesn't mean you're going to have a very warm fall. This just means that you're going to see some slight increases, maybe one or so degrees above average for your fall season. And that's really not going to be too noticeable when you walk outside. You're not going to walk outside and think, oh my gosh, it's so hot out here. But you may think it's a little bit warmer than what you normally would expect for your fall season. Now, on our final region on this map, we're looking at that above average region down here. This is a very small region, but it does include Los Angeles, Phoenix. And I know what you're thinking. These areas are already so hot. Why could they get any hotter? And the reason is, is we're seeing a persistent region of high pressure developing over the southwest. And we do expect that to continue into the fall. So that's going to kind of lock in a heat dome for much of the Southwest United States. And it's gonna stay hot down there, guys. For a good while, it's gonna stay hot down there. And we are gonna see that persistent ridging. So 
Uh, please hold in there with me. We are looking by winter to kind of get out of this heat dome, but as of right now, we are staying persistent and I do expect this to continue into the fall. Now on our final forecast map, we are looking at the fall foliage forecast and we're gonna start off in the slightly delayed region here. Um, and as you suspect, this is quite simple to understand. Um, it is going to be slightly delayed fall foliage as of what we see right now. Again, do note that this is going to change. It, we're not saying it can change. This is going to change before fall. And we're gonna update this in our next fall forecast. But as of right now, you can see that what we're seeing right now is slightly drier conditions and warmer conditions. And that kind of doesn't like to agree for fall foliage. So we're seeing, we could put a slight delay. Again, a lot of these deep south areas such as Miami and down here towards the McAllen area, we do see those areas not seeing any fall foliage change. Those are areas that never see them. So that's why you don't see any color for these very far southern areas. But these areas in Florida and Texas that do see fall foliage change, or at least a slight amount, we could see an, a slight delay on that maybe a week or so later. It's not really going to be anything too significant, but we do see that maybe a week or so later than what we would normally expect could be what you're expecting for your fall foliage due to those conditions. Now, moving over here to the delayed region, this is where you're going to notice that delay pretty significantly. Um, as of right now, of course, we do expect that this could change and it likely will. But as of right now, for Seattle and Portland, those are the two cities in this region. We do expect with those drier conditions and those warmer conditions up there for the Seattle and Portland area, we are expecting this region to see a pretty good delay on the fall foliage. We're not talking about a month or so. We're just saying maybe a week or two. So um, that kind of extends greater than the rest of this region out here. But we do see a delay expected for your fall foliage. All right, now in our next region here, we'll take a look at our slightly early region, anywhere from eastern Michigan all the way down to Georgia and up to New York. So we see all these areas are in that slightly early area, maybe about a week earlier or so, half a week earlier. It's not really going to be anything too early, but we do expect with the current conditions, um, we do expect some slightly earlier fall foliage. All right, now for our final region here on this map, we see our early region here, and this is where you're going to notice some earlier fall foliage as of right now. We do see Charlotte, North Carolina is included in this, and this is due to that colder air kind of locking in with that troughing. We do expect that. We aren't expecting slightly cooler conditions yet as of the forecast, but we are expecting cool conditions to linger over these areas and a lot of sunny conditions as well. That's all very good for fall foliage. That's why we see this entire region kind of looking on the brighter side for fall foliage this season. I want to thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you did enjoy this video, I would ask you consider subscribing for more US forecasts free of charge. And I would ask you consider following the Weather at a Glance official Facebook page for more inside information and complimentary personal forecasts when you message me on my Facebook page. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.